What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Intelligence. A lack of self-esteem is probably one of the most common issues that affect every one of us, and it's a big deal, too. It affects your life, career, and even your relationships. Fortunately, like any other problem, you can fix it. Today, we're breaking down the bad habits that are ruining your confidence and helping you manifest the greatest version of yourself. Today's episode is inspired by Bezos' video, where he gave a rundown of unconscious habits that ruin your confidence. By the end of this video, we'll also be teaching you how to break the habit of self-doubt and build real confidence. Believing in yourself is easier said than done, but it's possible. Let's get started. Number five, surrounding yourself with toxic people. Your network is your net worth, a quote from entrepreneur and motivational speaker Jim Rohn. That means the people you surround yourself with can change your life one way or the other. Gentlemen, a strong network is like money in your bank. It can take you places. In fact, a study published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology found that positive social relationships, social support, and social acceptance help shape the development of self-esteem in people over time across ages 4 to 76. According to Michelle Harris, one of the researchers, the reciprocal link between self-esteem and social relationship implies that effects of a positive feedback loop accumulate over time and it could be substantial as people go through life. Harris also noted that when self-esteem or quality of social relationships is low, it can negatively affect the other factor and set off a downward spiral. Whether it's your friend, girlfriend, or family, staying in toxic relationships and associating yourself with negative people is one of the crippling habits that can ruin your confidence. Yes, crippling, because you can't grow where you're not valued. If a family member is also trying to cut down on your success, you're always going to believe that your wins, big or small, don't matter. If a friend has been sabotaging your chances at love, instead of teaching you how to make any girl fall in love with you, you're never going to see that you're worthy of love. You are who you spend time with. If you surround yourself with lazy people, whiners, quitters, and pessimists, then that is who you will become. So try to look at the people you spend time with. Do they inspire you to be better? Do they encourage you to learn and try new things? Do they help you achieve your goals? Choose your people wisely. Want to know how to make someone fall in love with you? Watch this video where we teach you how to make a girl fall in love with you instantly. Number four, being complacent. Do you know the difference between people who are confident and people who aren't? Confident people are perpetually curious and lifelong learners. What does curiosity have to do with confidence? According to Trisha Blackwell, founder of the College of Confidence, Curiosity promotes creativity. Creativity births confidence, and confidence gives us the freedom to be our true selves. Gentlemen, dismissing your own curiosity is one of the habits that are ruining your confidence. By staying curious, not only do you learn more about the world around you, but you also learn about yourself too. Perhaps you're thinking, I'm not good enough, I can't do that, or maybe I don't know how, but that's the thing that's holding you back. Believing in yourself starts with your thoughts, and you become what you think. Shane Simmons, the founder of marketing firm, SS Consulting Firm, advises whether whether you want to learn a new language, start a business, or meet new people, eliminate the phrase, I don't know how, from your vocabulary. According to her, when you tell yourself this, your subconscious will believe it and will cause more problems for you when this idea crosses your mind in the future. Instead of giving in the negative self-talk, replace it with more positive phrasing, such as, how can I do this? Or, where should I start? The questions we ask ourselves can completely change how we view the world around us, says Simmons. Say you want to get your ex back, but you don't know how to make a girl fall in love with you again. Instead of dwelling on self-defeating thoughts like, oh, I can never get her back, or she wouldn't want to talk to me, seek advice from her friends or someone you really trust. Curiosity doesn't always kill the cat. Stay curious about the world around you, be committed to your growth, and be willing to get out of your comfort zone. Speaking of curiosity, wondering how to get a girl to fall in love with you and whether or not you should talk to her? Watch this video where we break down all the signs a woman wants to be a approached. Number three, not making plans. Third on our list of habits that ruin your confidence is not making plans. According to confidence expert Jens Weiner, no matter when you wake up in the morning, it's imperative that you prepare to get through the day. Because one of the frustrating things is that you sleep every night is that you hadn't accomplished anything during the day because a plan can help you use your day properly so you don't lose confidence. Of course, part of making plans is setting realistic goals. When you give yourself ambitious and unrealistic goals, whether in your career, relationships, or health, you're setting yourself up for failure and disappointment. This is also one of the habits that are ruining your confidence. Maybe you want to make a girl fall in love with you in a week. While that's possible, giving yourself a month is more realistic. If you want to build confidence, start by making realistic plans. Develop a daily routine, figure out what type of life you want to be living, and create a vision for yourself. Guys, we still have two more items coming up in this list of habits that ruin your confidence. Now, we understand that believing in yourself is easier said than done, which is why by the end of this video, we're also teaching you how to break the habit of self-doubt and build real confidence. So stay tuned. Number two, 
fearing failure. There are certain risks you have to take in life, not only because it's inevitable, but also because it helps you grow. Trying something out and failing will probably hurt, but it will also teach you how to do it better next time. And if you end up doing it right, it'll be one of the things you can check off your bucket list. Another mountain you successfully climbed. In dating, one of the many things that stop men from pursuing women is the fear of rejection. Gentlemen, the answer will always be no unless you try. So figure out how to make a girl fall in love with you already, and maybe learn some alpha male body language tricks to help you out with that. According to counselor Monty Drenner, an individual's world gets smaller each time they give in to fear. And each time they give in to fear, it gets easier to give in the next time. Since self-esteem is built from getting out into the world and proving to yourself what you can do, getting stuck in a comfort zone will not do you any favors. Check out this video where we teach you alpha male body language tricks every guy should know. Number 1. Dwelling on the Past Finally, stop dwelling on the past. According to life coach Sasha Karian, if you're consistently referencing the negative things that were said and done to you in the past, particularly during childhood, you're slowly destroying your self-confidence. It goes the same way for mistakes you've made. Confidence expert Jens Weiner advises practicing self-forgiveness. Remember that while we have relationships with our family and friends, a very important relationship is one that we have with ourselves. It isn't about being perfect, but we all can remember that we have the power to change Weiner at it it's time to learn how to break self-doubt and build real confidence. First off, get off social media. If you can't quit it completely, lessen your time on it because a lot of your anxiety comes from comparing your life to other people's lives. Remember, most of what you see on social media are highlight reels people curated. It's not completely real life. Second, do the five second rule. It's simple. If you have an instinct to act on a goal, you must physically move within five seconds or your brain will kill it. The moment you feel an instinct or a desire to act on a goal or a commitment, use the rule. Third, Third, practice power poses. According to a 2014 study, sitting with good posture can keep both your self-esteem and mood lifted. Experts also recommend opening up your chest and keeping your head level to look and feel assured and poised. Lastly, be mindful of your thoughts. Listen to your internal thoughts without judgment and figure out whatever triggers your insecurities. Do you know more habits that ruin your confidence? Share your answers in the comments section below. And that's it for this list of habits that are ruining your confidence. But remember guys, believing in yourself doesn't happen overnight and is certainly not a one-time job. It's a decision you have to make every day.